Hello everyone, welcome to Asian Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Bark recruitment for 2026. The notification has been released for trainee scientific officers under uh, OCES and DGFS program. Uh, first of all, what is OCES? OCES is Orientation Course for Engineering Graduates and Science Postgraduates. And DGFS is DAE, that is Department of Atomic Energy Graduate Fellowship Scheme for Engineering Graduates over here. Now, over here, um, please keep this in mind. This is one of the best examinations which is out there and which is conducted every year for uh, trainee scientific officer positions uh, in any of the establishments. And over here, your gate result is also used for shortlisting of interview, right? So keep this in mind. This is one of the best opportunities for the students out there, specifically for the core engineering students as well as your uh, computer science students as well. So what is, what is this uh, DAE Graduate Fellowship Scheme and uh, OCES program? So over here, OCES is your uh, one year training program, which is out there, right? Orientation course for engineering graduates and science postgraduate. Uh, this is a one-year training program and this is a training program which under which you'll be given a designation of trainee scientific officer. Um, here, gate result or their own examination which is conducted in the month of March. I'll be, you know, making a separate video of the details of this particular exam. But in short, I am explaining you over here. So this is a one-year program. During the training phase, you are given 74,000 rupees per month of stipend, which was Previously, 55,000 rupees per month, but now it is 74,000 rupees. Now here, um, you, you'll be, you know, uh, placed after successful completion of training, you'll be placed in these establishments of uh, BARC, right? Uh, which is Bhava Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, Indira Gandhi Center of Atomic Research, in uh, Kalpakkam, uh, Raja Raman Center for Advanced Technology, uh, which is an indoor. So in this way, in, there are multiple um, opportunities which the students get based upon their uh, training uh, performance. And similarly, there is a two-year program as well. In DGFS, you will be completely sponsored. There will be a fee support as well as, um, you know, stipendary support which will be given to you while you go for MTech. So if you take ad ad admission in MTech programs, Parallelly in top IITs, in collaboration with BARC examination, you will be able to pursue your um, successful uh, assist teaching assistantship, that is your MTech program. And uh, parallelly, you can train on, in BARC as well. And once your successful training is completed, you will be absorbed as a scientific officer in various establishments of BARC. And grade pay is one of the best grade pays, uh, which is uh, available for the students. So it is a basic pay of 56,100 rupees, right? And uh, this grade pay or level 10, this accounts for 1.3 lakh rupees per month. It is as high as 1.3 lakh rupees per month, including all the allowances which are out there. Selection process, uh, the screening is always uh, through uh, either their own examination or through gate examination. So previous gate scores are also valid, specifically if you are a student who is applying in 2026, so gate 2026, 25 and 24, all three will be valid, which is which are used for the selection process, right? So if the students fell short uh, in 2025 and they thought that they have a good gate score also, um, and uh, they fell short in the interviews, you can just apply once more uh, in BARC examination. So they BARC just give you the opportunity for that as well. So there is a detailed notification which has been released, all right? Otherwise, I'll be also, you know, releasing this uh, detailed uh, video in which I'll be talking about the BARC exam selection process and everything. All the things I'll be talking in detail. But this notification, keep in mind, this is just a... Uh, preview that the notification has released and uh, be aware uh, of the aspects uh, regarding this particular examination. Apart from that, in this notification, uh, in a short format, they have also mentioned that what if you go for DGFS program, what will be the consideration for that and everything. So let's talk about the important dates. Im dates are very, very important. So over here, online application has been launched on 22nd of December. 
uh, will launch on 22nd of December. You just register for this exam. Last date of online application will be 21st of January 2026. Correction window, uh, please keep it in mind. It will be from 7th of February to 14th of February. Allocation of online exam venue also it is there 15th of February and 20th of February. So there is an option that you can uh, provide your selection process through both gate examination as well as through their own examination also. An online exam also it is uh, will be there will on 14th of March and 15th of March and the result uh, candidates can also upload their gate score also uh, scorecard as well on 26th of March till 2nd of April right. Display of the list of the shortlisted candidates for the selection of interview will be in the 2nd of April. So your marks in the exam does not matter. Once you are shortlisted for interview, your performance in the interview will decide your final selection and mark. This is one of the only examinations which are out there, which uh, do that. Otherwise, there is NPCIL also, Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited also, which does, the, uh, does that in the same way. Otherwise, gate examination result uh, 75 to 85 percent weightage is given in various PSUs but over here it is not given any weightage for a final selection. Uh, so availability uh, based on the selection of interview will be from 20th of April till 26th of April. Selection uh, of interviews will be 12th of May to 12th of June and uh, display of the list of final selected candidates will be in the last week of June and from first week of July uh, providing the details of the MTech admission in DGFS Institute by the selected OCS and DGFS program. Desirous of DGFS 2026, you have to provide that in first week of July. Declaration of the list of applicants selected for DGFS, it will be in the second week of July. And pre-employment medical test for the selected candidates will be done from 1st of July till 23rd of July, keep that in mind, 23rd to 30th of July and commencement of OCS program will be 31st of July 2026. It is there in Mumbai, BARC, uh, right? So these are the important dates for BARC examination and uh, stay updated with respect to our detailed video for BARC exam as well. Like this video, share it with your friends if, it's, if, it is, if you think it is, is, it is helpful for them. Uh, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.